Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome to my first look here at Oakfield Farm by Auction David. Now as you can tell by the PDA, this is a DEM map. Now, what that means is it's based on a real life area. So as you can see, this is probably an image from Google Earth, I assume. And it's a pretty one-to-one -one scale with that. So um, it's going to be interesting to take a look around this. Now I have looked around the yard, but I've not looked around the map. So you guys are basically coming on a first look with me. So um, first of all, we start off in the house. and I'm upstairs at the moment. We're in the bedroom. Got a little bathroom here with a golden nugget. We'll collect that. Um, so there are good nuggets on the map in case you guys are wondering. Little telephone, I wonder what that was then. So we'll head downstairs, we'll show you the rest of the house real quick, and then we'll get out and show you the, uh, the outside, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys are eager to see. Uh, on the stairs, we've got a fire here, with uh, a working fireplace in the front room. We've got a Christmas tree. Now there's a hidden message here, I wonder if you guys can uh, decode it. And I'll let you guys talk about that in the comment section. Um, so here is the kitchen. This is, don't believe this is a working toolbox, but of course there's the placeable toolbox mod that you can put in. Is there a hidden guy on this shelf this time around? No, there's not. So if you guys remember Thornton Farm, there's a hidden guy. We've got Frontier Design, Auction David. Frontier Design is uh, Bullet Bill as well, in case you guys weren't aware. We've got the, uh, what map's that? Is this this map? I think it is this map. Okay, so we head out to the main door here. We can go out of the kitchen as well. There's two ways to get out of this house. Uh, we'll close the door behind us. So we've got a huge grass field right there. I'm not going to show you every nook and cranny. I'm just going to show you the uh, the main parts of the map. We can open this gate as well for those of you that are uh, wondering there. And we could also get in through the kitchen as well. So, this is just a little shed for storage here. We've got a pickup truck that we start off with. Um, moving through here, we've got the what I believe is possibly the seed fill-up point. Although there's no trigger here, but I'm assuming that's what it is. There's also a gold nugget in here. I'll get these later on. Um, so we can actually open this door here. Like so, and there's a little workshop, another gold nugget. We've got the car that's back. Once again, you can use all of this stuff. Now, I really, really like maps like this, like all the rustic looking ones, because it's what we see in Britain. It's very, very, very rare that we'll see like a spotless, clean um, farm on, you know, where I live anyway, in Devon. So it's nice to see stuff like this. We've got our fertilizer field points here. These are triggered so you can uh, see if there's a trigger there or not. You can turn that off once again in the option menu. We start off with a Massey and a Massey Combine. And I believe we can open these doors here. Yes, we can. So there's a little uh, machinery storage place in here. We can use it for wherever you want, grain, whatever. Um, actually, just one thing I should show you. These are the light switches on this map. So we go up to this and we'll press the left mouse button. You can see the lights turn on there, which is really cool. Something we've not seen before. Now, I believe 95% or maybe even more of the models you see and buildings and stuff you see on this map are made by Auction David. Um, little uh, machinery storage here. We'll go around here. Now, this is not a uh, silage clamp for those wondering, but I think this can be... If these have got tip coals in the walls, this can be a good place to store potatoes and stuff. If you're uh, into potato harvesting or beet harvesting. And this is the shed that we just came out of, so we've gone full circle. Another good nugget there for those of you that when you get it. Okay, so I completely went past this. This, I believe, is either the wool cell point or wool spawn point. Depends where the sheep spawn. Now, seeing as the map is showing that the sheep spawn in this huge grass field out here... As you can see, we've got the water trough there and the feeding trough. Oh, feeding trough there and the water trough there. So this is obviously the sheep field. I'm assuming that uh, little trigger actually turn it up. We're gonna go. We're gonna run times three today, just so we get around a bit quicker. You guys can see it quicker. Uh, so yeah, I believe that's the spawn point. Don't quote me on that just yet, though. In fact, I forgot to show you guys something quite interesting. Here we go. We'll walk right past it. So this is what I'm going to be using as grain storage. So we can go ahead and go in through the door if you want, or we can uh, open them up electronically. Like I said, you can put wherever you want in here. I'm going to be using this personally for grain storage because uh, I like doing it manually. We've got a light here for the outside. You can see the yard lights turn on there. That's the switch there. In fact, it even says underneath, yard lights. So there we go. Um, this is the grain dump and grain fill point if you're into doing it with silos as opposed to uh, loaders. Um, like I said, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing just yet, but here is the storage for all of them. We've got another one of the... was well, basically a duplicate of the shed over there. Let's go ahead and open that up. There are lights in here, although I've not managed to find the uh, find a light switch for it yet. Is it this one? Maybe this turns on. Okay, it's these lights here. So the switch is on the outside for these. So we'll head around here. We've got the fuel point, or fuel refuel point there, sorry. We've got another little uh, machinery shed here for your smaller stuff. This is probably going to be what I keep, like my cultivating stuff and plows where things don't get rusty. We've got a silage clamp here. This is one of two in this yard, as you can see up in the F1 menu there. Fuel level, compacting, definitely that. We've got a nice little puddle texture there as well. That doesn't actually, um, that's not the water fill point. I will show you that in a minute. I know where that is. So we've got another building here that we can go into. 
Let's turn the- are these the outside lights or the inside lights? These are the inside lights. Okay, so this is just a, uh, little tool shed sort of thing. So I'm going to be keeping my toolbox in here just to make use of it. Uh, this door... This is our machinery shed. Well, one of our machinery sheds. So we've got our C drill here. We've got a fent that we start off with here. And of course, you can open the huge door. That's how you get it in. Like so. So this is probably going to be my main machinery storage. Because it's in a quite a nice area. Let's go ahead and turn the light off wherever it was. Here it was. Turn off lights, we're not in use. We'll do. Uh, so let's quickly go on times three once again. We'll walk around to here. So we've got the workshop here. Obviously, we customize our vehicles and repair them now if you're using uh, Seasons Mod. I believe this map is also Seasons Mod ready, so that'll be good news for you guys. Some storage here. Um, possibly bales I'm going to store in here, but I'm not 100% just yet. We've got a plow there. Uh, that's just decoration. We've got the header that we start off with here. Now, I believe this is the uh, the straw cell point, judging by this. In fact, if we do a 5 we can actually see a trigger. So that is definitely that, I believe. Uh, so here is the main cow area. So we can go ahead and jump over here. We've got some more machinery storage there. So here is the, the milk shed, if you will. Now, once again, I think all of these are made by Auction David. Don't quote me on that just yet. He's going to have to confirm in the comment section. Um, but here's the main cow shed here, where you uh, feed them and stuff. If we get this Door open, which won't open for some reason. There you go. I wasn't close enough to the trigger. So we go. This is the uh, the inside feeding trough here, and we've run out to the field. We've got the outside feeding trough here, the water trough here, and this I believe is where you give them straw. You can give them straw, and I just double check. There's a trigger in there. Yes, there is. So that's either a straw cell point, but judging by what we just saw, I'm going to assume that's where you give them straw. And we have another silage clamp here. So I believe that's all the main stuff covered. Here's the uh, other bell shed I was telling you about here. This might be where I store the bales, um, considering, well, if it's got the uh, season stuff on it. And here is the slot. I forgot about this. This is the slurry pit. And once again, you can lift this up like you can on the west coast. It's a little safety gate. And that's it. We've gone full circle. So that is the main yard. So what I'm going to do is run down to the pickup truck. We're going to get into the pickup truck. And uh, we'll take a little drive around. So there's a couple of things. I did actually drive down to something else as well. So there's a placeable yard on this map for those of you that like all your placeables. And I'll show you that now real quick. So I am using keyboard and mouse. So I apologize for any bad driving that you see on this video. If you guys watch my videos quite often, you know that I'm not usually one for using keyboard and mouse. So stop the truck here. As you can see, that red sign is showing us the placeable yard or construction site, placeables, etc. Um, so you just put your placeables down here, basically. This can be coming handy for the, uh, the straw add-on. Let's move around here. There's actually a road that I want to follow. So let's go ahead. Um, No, we won't take the pickup truck. We'll do this on foot, but we are on time three, so it shouldn't take too long. There's another gate here that you have to open to get out. And this is basically just another way into the yard. Takes us to the main road. Or well, not the main road, but one of the roads, as you can see. But there's an egg cell point. Now, when I first did this, I got a little bit, a little bit curious as to what this noise was. And I finally found it. So if we walk around here, I'll be quiet so you guys can hear this. When we walk past the church, listen to what happens. There we go. That's pretty, hopefully that's not copyright, by the way, because YouTube's going to take the video down, but there we go. And so here is the egg sale point. This is where I'm probably going to sell all my eggs. That's right on the doorstep of our yard. Um, in fact, I just realized we can jump over this. So we're back in the place by yard here. So let's quickly run through. So that's the place by yard and the egg sale point, and also the little uh, Easter egg I found with the church. Um, so what way are we going to go? We're going to go out this gate down here in a minute. Now, I haven't got it installed, but from what Landy Keith was telling me, there's a mod coming out in conjunction with this, maybe? I'm not 100%, I probably shouldn't talk about it too much, but it changes the traffic. But I believe on my version, I'm going to have Russian cars, which are different, because we've not seen them before. So if I drive out to the main road here, we should see that. So we've got this little decoration bit of logs there. So up here, I believe, is just a field. Now, I like fields like this, where you have to go up a little dirt path to get to them, because it's more like what I see around my area. It's very, very rare in Devon that I'll see, uh, well... By my area, at least, where I actually see gates on main roads going into fields. So it's nice to have, like, the little dirt paths and the back paths and stuff that go to these. So head down here, and this should take us to the main road. Okay, so we're on the main road now. Uh, just off to our left here, we have the sawmill. So we've got three triggers in here, and I can't work out what the other one is. So we've got logs, obviously. We've got the wood chips over here. And also, I'm still not really 100% sure what this is, if I'm being honest. I'll have to ask Landy Kid or Auction David about this. It doesn't say on the map, I don't believe. 
Sawmill. No, it doesn't. So I have to see what this is. Judging by this, it's planks, but I'm not really sure where we get the planks from. So I'll get back to you guys on that one. Um, also, one thing I would like to point out is that Auction David has changed the uh, the scenery vans that you see around, or the scenery vehicles. So we're used to seeing the same ones since like FS15 on maps. He's completely changed them out because we've got a little Volkswagen there, which is pretty cool. So with that said, speaking of Volkswagen, we'll head out to the road and we'll see if we can see some different traffic. So I'm going to turn eeny, meeny, money mo. We are going to go right, I think. Yeah, we'll go right. So I'm not 100% sure where I'm going. We'll drive out to here. So what is this? This is the... A police gazelle, which is interesting. That's something we've not seen before. So we've got police cars driving around. That's something I've not seen before. Huge fields, which is uh, pretty realistic. This is the sort of size fields we actually see... Uh, well, in England, if you guys that don't live in the UK. More fields there, which is pretty realistic en entrances. That's what I was talking about. So we usually got at least paths like that going to the fields, which I really like. So head down here, and I believe this is the end of the map down here, but we can make a left turn to go up down a different road. Oh, look at that, guys. We've got a uh, got a Land Rover driving around. That's pretty cool. Let me just stop a minute so you guys can see that. So in the traffic, we've got a Land Rover Defender. That's really cool. That's actually the one from uh, that I had on Thornton Farm, if you guys saw my series. Uh, coming up here, we've got a Gazelle. Let's go up this road here. So there's... Actually, I don't think that is a field. That's not a field. That's just for decoration. But as you can see, he's also made it look like the outside fields are real, which is really cool. So even the outskirts is a DEM. So as we drive up here, this is like a, a moorland sort of area. We've got that. Like, we're going around the outside here. The huge uh, crop field. That one there is ready to be planted. It, uh, I think it's that's the cultivator texture. So we'll drive up here. Also, Landy Kid was telling me something, actually. Is this it? No, this isn't it. I need to find a plow texture. Apparently the plow texture on this has changed, and I'm really excited to see that. So we've got a tiny little grass meadow here if you want to get some free grass. It's really small though. That's not actually a Bible field, it's just if you're like me and want to get some free grass. So what we've got here, this is just a scenery house. Uh, another edge of the field there, or to a field there. So here we go, here is Empire Stores. So this is by the look of it, a sell point. And we can also... Is this either buy or... Buy seeds, possibly? A buy fertilizer, if you want to do it realistically. It might be sell, but it's very, very... I've never seen sell before, so I'm assuming it's buy. You can buy seeds from stores and stuff. Um, so here's the dump point, which is also a sell point, I believe. This is double check. Where are we? Oh, down here. Empire stores. So yeah, this is where you can sell some of the grain off. Pretty cool. It's going to be a bit hard to maneuver for the people that aren't good at driving. Rainbow Dave, I'm looking at you. Um, so yeah, let's carry on with our little tour. Right, okay, everybody, so we've just come full circle right now, and as you can see, right here, we're back where we started. So this, don't worry, we're not finishing the Let's Play, but this is basically the other exit. If you want to exit through the other end of the uh, farm, this is where you'll come out. We've got another little, uh, another entrance to the, uh, to the sheep field there, and I also saw the trigger. So if you want to load the sheep up, you got to go onto that little gate we just saw there. And we'll head up here, past the back of these, and I believe we're going to be taking, let me just double check, yeah, we're going to be taking a right up to Hilltop Stores. Once again, I'm not showing you every nook and cranny of this map, because part of the uh, fun of having a new map is to explore yourself and check some stuff out. We're going way too fast, I didn't realise. Let's go ahead and open this gate. So this is a private road, so you're not going to be bumping into any uh, traffic. Okay, so as we approach our next store here, uh, this is called Hilltop Stores, and this one looks a little bit bigger for the people that aren't very good at driving. Uh, once again, we've got a gate that we need to uh, open, so we'll go ahead and open that ourselves. Like so. And we'll take a look in here. So once again, I think you can buy um, seeds at all the stores. So we've got some more seeds there. There's the sell point for the grain. Fertiliser there. Little Arctic lorry waiting to go there. So I like the detail he's got on these stores. And there's also another egg sell point here as well. So Hilltop is another egg sell point if you want to drive a bit further than the church. Alright, let's carry on into the uh, into the village here. Okay, so we're at the uh, the village. As you can see, we've got a beautiful little view here of the uh, the little river that's going through the... Well, not through the village, but next to the village. It's really nice. I'll see where that bridge goes later on as well. That might be a public trail. It looks Actually, no, it goes into the field by the look of it. Little public entrance to the field. So here we are in the village. Now, straight away, I like this. This from... This is what you see in villages in the UK. This is a post box. So, um, in the villages, they tend to be built into walls as opposed to, like, on the street corners and stuff. Okay, so we'll head out. We're going to go 
Uh, what way should we gonna go up here? This is a blocked end, but we'll check it out anyway. You can tell that by the sign that we just drove past. So it's like a little cul-de-sac maybe. And there's the end of the map. But there we go. So it's a nice attention to detail that's on the map here. We'll turn around here. And we will oh gosh, it just crashed. And we'll turn it left at the end of here and explore the rest of the map. Okay, so let's quickly head down left. Now, rumour has it, that gate next to us goes to uh, Dodgy Declan's retirement house. So, if you're subscribed to me, you may know what that means. But if you don't know, if you're not subscribed to me, you have no idea what I'm talking about, then do not worry. But for my subscribers, rumour has it, that's where he's retired. So maybe we'll see him again. Uh, what's that, actually? Is that worth checking out? We'll see what this is. This might just be decoration, but I'm curious. Okay, it's just an electrical shed. There is a, uh, a gold nugget down there, though. Okay, so just down from there, that is the gate. In fact, I'll just show you it so it makes a bit more sense. So this is the gate that we ran down earlier on with the uh, the church. So that goes back up to the yards. This is the uh, the back entrance to the farm, if you're on this side of the map. Which is pretty cool. Now, I think we've already been up this road here. So now we need to come out of here and we will go left. Because we're just driving down, I've also just seen this coming towards me. We've got tractors on the road as well. Really cool, that's not something we've seen before. On oh, no, well, well, I've seen before anyway on maps. So that's interesting to see. We've got a change of speed limit here, and also our next. So this is Seven Springs. We've got a little public path that I just drove past as well. Look at the detail around here. I can see the chickens. We've got a Volkswagen Beetle driving around as well. So, like I said, I'm not showing you everything on this map because some of it is going to be a surprise. Like, there's some things I can't avoid showing you, like that. But there's a lot of things you guys to see for yourself. So, Gloucester is up there. Well, the Route 2 Gloucester. So, welcome to Oak Glen Farm. So, uh, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and park next to this Suzuki and uh, we'll show you a look around. And we'll go in this bottom end, I think, and then work our way back around. So, here we've got a, what I believe is another straw cell point here. We've got. Um, if maybe seeds or fertilizer there. Once again, this asks, that's if this is our farm. Some storage there. So this is actually, I should have mentioned, the, the pig farm. So yes, we do own it. So here is the trigger for the uh, the pigs. That is probably straw by the look of it. We've got the food trough here, the water trough here, and this is where they all hang out. It's where the cool kids hang out. And here's how you get to the inside part. So quite a small pig yard, which I like, because... This is usually what we see around me. This is the sort of size that we see around me anyway. This is nowhere near me, by the way, guys. This map's not based in Devon. It's just quite similar, which I really like. Another slurry pit there for the pigs. We'll get that lifted up before I forget later on. More machinery storage here. Um, this is, by the look of it, a manure pit. I'll just double-check to make sure it's not silage. Yes, it is. Okay, so it's manure. So you scoop up your manure if it's manual, and then you'll dump it into here. We've got some grain storage here. Now, does this work? Yes, it does. Awesome. So this is where you store the grain if you use this farm more often. Um, it goes into there. How do we get it out? Not 100% sure. Okay. So to get it out, you come to this little area here, which is just on the other side through this little middle lane. So you put it in the place that we just, the little uh, flap we just lifted up, and you get it out from here. Which is really cool. I'm really impressed by this map, Boxing David, if you're watching this far in. I really am still quite mind blown, which is why sometimes I don't... <laughs> I don't really know what to say, because it's just like walking around a real-life farm. Once again, it is based on real-life areas, which is probably why it looks so realistic. So, okay, so up this middle road is just where you get the seeds, basically. So it is course play friendly, although it is real. This is probably the best map for course play. Awesome, and just across the road we got the chickens, I can hear them. Little garage there, that's where we park a truck. Um, actually, does this work? If you can get in here, this is going to be incredible. I don't think so. Okay, no. That'd be cool if you get into there. Um, so we've got another field here, which we don't own just yet. Uh, let's jump around to here. Uh, here's the chickens. We've got a couple of eggs there waiting for us. They got... These chickens are living in luxury. My voice just broke. I do apologise. These chickens are living in luxury. Look at the size of the, uh, the pasture they've got. And we've got a little uh, electrical mass slash podium slash... What do you call it? Yeah, mass. That's what I call them. And then up here to another huge field. This is field 40 here. How much is this field, just out of curiosity? This will cost you £253,000, which is quite realistic for the size of it, to be fair. So, either Farm Sim or Giants have fixed the uh, field multipliers, or Auction David has. Either way, GG. Jump over this gate. Is the gate open? No, it's not even a gate. You've got to jump over it. Okay, so i got one more area to show you on the map here. Now, I'm just going to stop a minute because behind me is the milk truck 
from FS13, the Rolo truck. I missed that thing. For those of you that never played FS13, the milk truck used to drive around and pick up the milk itself. There's a Land Rover again, look, I love that. So yeah, the milk truck in FS13 used to pick up the milk um, and then take it to the factory. For some reason, Giants took that out. There's a lot of things they took out from FS13, which I think made the game better, um, including auctionable fields, but we're not talking about this video. That's for a different video. Um, we need to go this way, I believe. I think I'm going the right way here. Um, Gloucester's 10 miles away from here. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Cool. So we've got the Seven Springs Hotel, I believe, here. We've got David's Tasty Burger Van there. Of course, auction David there. Um, right here, we've got the vehicle store itself. So this is where you buy, sell your vehicles, all that good stuff. There's actually a Lexion sticking out of the uh, shed there. I wonder if that's going to be on console. Once again, I don't know if any of this is going to be changed for the console version. There is a PC version coming out soon, so who knows? All right, we'll go into here. This is Willowbrook Stores. Um, so that's the BJ there. I'll show you that in a second. So we've got what I believe is fuel from the BGA. So you can get some fuel there if you've uh, if you've made it. Well, no, slurry, sorry. What am I talking about fuel? Slurry from the BGA there, sorry. Once again, you can buy seeds and fertilizer here. We've got the... This is a very different one to the rest of them. This is like probably the main sell point what people are going to use for like the big corporate farms if you're going for a corporate farm theme. So here's the sell point for that. This is going to be good for articulated lorries if you're using them to unload. So yeah, if you're using an articulated lorry, I recommend coming to this one. You can turn around quite easily as well. Uh, this is the wool sell point. So yeah, what we saw at the beginning of the video was the spawn point, and this is where you sell them. Little uh, cute sign there. And then finally, we have the BJ. So I'm just going to jump over the field. Uh, the field? Jump over the fence for that. So here is the digester. Um, here are the actual clamps themselves. There we go. There's one. There's two. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something here. Oh, here's the scale. This is where you... Way, oh, where's oh, there's the sign. Okay, I don't weigh anything. And there's the milk truck again. So I believe that's all. I'm okay. So I'm actually going to leave the video here, guys, because like I said, there's a lot of stuff for you guys to discover, including the forests and all the little hidden egg cell points that are on the map. Of course, there's a gold nugget hunt as well. It looks like there's something up there. It might just be distance decoration. And what's actually in front of us? Oh, uh, it's a forest up there. So there's one of the forestry forests there. Let's actually see how we get into that. And then we'll end the video. So here we go, here's the end. There's people walking around. This is the public place. Oh yeah, one more thing. This is the castle. Forgot about this. I did fly over this earlier. So we've got the lavender forest there. If you want to do some um, forestry. And we have the castle. So I think we're going to end at the castle. We've got the public walking around here. Doing some sightseeing. Um, so this is actually a different model of castle to the usual ones. Let's go ahead and get into here. So thank you very, very much for joining me in this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Big props to Auction David and big thank you for sending it to me. Guys, let him know in the comment section what you like about the map. He's done an awesome, awesome job. We'll collect some more of these golden nuggets here. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me in this video. If you did enjoy, please slap that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming and I'll see you in the next one.